Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Uh, Groundhog Day and Super Bowl Sunday. Poxitani Phil uh, did not see a shadow. So according to him, uh, a uh, spring is uh, just about here. Well, we haven't had winter yet in many areas of the Northeast. So I suppose that makes a whole lot of sense. So uh, with that in mind and uh, with the Super Bowl uh, today, if you've got uh, parties to go to, if you've got uh, parties you're hosting, the weather should not be uh, an issue anywhere. We do have a bit of a warm front that's moving uh, through that uh, is going to perhaps trigger off a few snow showers in some areas later this afternoon into this evening, maybe a couple of rain showers uh, elsewhere. Other than that, it's a relatively uneventful day. Take the opportunity, by the way, to download the free meteorologist Joe Choppy weather app on Google Play or on the App Store so you can follow the weather along. It has your local forecast, your current conditions, and a whole lot more, including snow maps up and down the East Coast if it ever snows again, but we'll see. So in the meantime, let's get going with today. All the action uh, as we uh, uh, look on the watches and warnings map all in the West. We've got a slew of winter storm warnings up. From uh, Utah up into Wyoming, uh, winter weather advisories surrounding that, uh, a few winter storm watches on the eastern flank of this, uh, moving into uh, western Nebraska and western South Dakota, high wind watches and warnings throughout much of uh, Southern California, uh, across into Arizona and New Mexico. So clearly uh, it's stormy there, and while it is stormy there, it is the usually the opposite on the other coast. So we are nice and quiet. There aren't any watches or warnings up and down the eastern seaboard uh, for us to worry about. So uh, as far as temp, uh, snow is concerned with this warm front coming through, uh, it's really going to be uh, nothing uh, to, uh, to write home about. Uh, we're talking about maybe a coating to a couple of inches uh, in the areas that you see shaded here. These are the uh, Weather Service snow forecasts for today into tonight. And uh, looking at a coating to an inch or two. Uh, same uh, holds true if you move up through upstate New York and into western New England. Uh, sometimes uh, you do get these situations where warm air is arriving, and as it moves into a colder air mass, uh, you get a little bit of precipitation that gets triggered. And in this instance, it is producing a little bit of snow. On the satellite, uh, we've got clouds again, and that's been a struggle uh, as we know, uh, clouds uh, have been uh, just driving us crazy. Even when we get into a good weather pattern, we can't seem to uh, break out into uh, sunshine for more than a day or so. Uh, there are some uh, bright spots, though, uh, as we look to the southwest this morning, but there are more clouds coming in from the west, and that's that warm front as this uh, low moves across the northern lakes and heads over into southeastern Canada. The uh, morning radar showing this little arm of snow in moving into uh, western Pennsylvania now and uh, march across. We'll see how much of it holds together, and that will be about it. So the big story going forward, by the way, is going to be uh, the warm, warmer temperatures that are coming uh, for Monday and Tuesday. For today, uh, we'll just uh, bring up, let's bring up today's highs first, and today's uh, highs are going to be held back uh, just a bit as uh, we uh, fight cloud cover and also the fact that the uh, warm front is coming into this uh, slightly cooler air mass. So we're looking at most highs being in the low to mid 40s. So even if you wind up with a few snow showers, they're not going to do anything uh, for, for most of the area. And for some, it's just going to be a, a plain old rain shower when it goes by late this afternoon into tonight. Again, nothing to write home about. And then on Monday, we're going to send temperatures up uh, into the mid and upper 50s. Uh, if you go from New York City north and east, put the range at about, uh, let, let's say, I'm going to go give this a little bit of upside that we wind up with a little bit more in the way of sun. So mid to upper 50s uh, as you go north and low and mid 60s as you head south, particularly into Maryland and northeastern Virginia, upper 50s and low 60s, southern Pennsylvania, southeastern PA, down into the southern half of New Jersey. I think that's pretty fair. And Monday's weather, I think, is going to be uh, quite uh, decent. And Tuesday, we're going to still hold on to temperatures in the 50s because we have to wait for the next cold front to move on through. So uh, with respect to the weather for the week ahead, let me just very quickly uh, run through what's going to be happening here. We do have 
Uh, we have our warm front uh, coming through for later today and tonight. A uh, warm, nice day for tomorrow. I think we'll have a fair amount of sunshine. Tuesday, the first uh, cold front approaches here. It doesn't really quite make it. Uh, it's got to wait for another wave to go by. It looks like we'll have a cold front coming through here early Wednesday afternoon. That front, and there'll be a few showers with that, by the way. That front stalls out, and there is a second wave, and you see it here down in southern Alabama. That wave is going to start to move up to the northeast. And actually, when you take a look at this, uh, this was yesterday's uh, GFS bringing uh, some rain and snow here, believe it or not, uh, for uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. Here is the latest GFS run uh, showing some snow uh, to ice on the southern end. A lot is going to depend on just how much cold air gets in on the back side of this. Uh, there's a high that builds, and this is for Wednesday night into Thursday. There's a high that builds to the north, pins down some cold air. Uh, this is going to be one of these situations that we're really just going to have to wait and see uh, when we get there exactly how much cold air are we talking about. And given the way the winter has been, you have to be really have a certain amount of skepticism regarding this. But this would be looks like for Wednesday night and Thursday, there's a southern edge of ice here. Uh, the uh, high moves out eventually, so uh, that means it goes over to rain. Another wave moves up the coast for Friday and brings rain all the way up uh, into uh, upstate New York and into uh, central New England. So uh, the, that there's no blocking, there's no real cold air, so it's going to be limited as to how much you're going to be able to get out of this. So uh, Monday and Tuesday, the two warmest days, Wednesday transition day with the cold front, Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday, we'll see if there's enough cold air as that first wave moves up for uh, some wintry precipitation, and then we'll have some more uh, precipitation to deal with at the end of the week. Meanwhile, for the rest of your Sunday, your Super Bowl Sunday, hope your team is the winning team, whichever it may be. I have, Honestly, uh, probably if I had to root for a team, I'd lean towards San Francisco because I'm more of an NFC guy versus an AFC guy, but uh, I'm, you know, it's not a big deal for me. All right. So uh, the Joe and Joe weather show is uh, our Sunday mornings. Coffee with Joe and Joe is at 11 a.m. Eastern time on YouTube. So uh, be sure to join in. Uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, the silly rodent, uh, the Super Bowl, and uh, the weather going forward in the long range. Have a great day, everybody.